this book literally has no right, no right to be this fucking good. are you welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back today we're going to be doing a reading vlog and we're going to be reading fourth wing by rebecca yaros Way the crowd goes wild. i'm on the late train genuinely on the late train i think this book released in like april and i was seeing the girlies post their video seeing the girlies rave about it and i was just like eh, i'm not a fantasy romance girly usually usually but kind of went a little over my head i was like not really thinking too much about it but then every one of my friends that read it loved it jessica from peace love books loved it lacy from lacy book lovers loved it like lit i could just go on and on so i was like all right gotta see what the hype's about so i went to my library to see if they had the audiobook and they did the line wasn't long this is a 21 hour audiobook by the way which zam but it's fine it's quite impossible to find a physical copy of this book i will say but we're gonna listen to the audiobook from what i know about this book it is a fantasy romance book it takes place in basgaith which is basically a dragon kingdom when she's the daughter of like one of the major generals she's being pushed into being a writer which means that she has to go through a ton of really hard challenges she has to bond with the dragon there's just a lot going on the fantasy romance with freaking dragons which is pretty awesome so yeah I know this video is coming really late and everyone has already read the book but we're just gonna see what I think about it I'm gonna take you guys along the week with me and we're gonna see is this book worth the hype or not I don't know greetings and salutations good morning I'm about to head into work I'm gonna get some coffee and go to work and listen to a little bit more of the audiobook I'm about five hours in I think I when I checked I had like 14 hours left this is definitely not a book that I am rushing through. It's not something I want to read in one day. I really am just enjoying it. I tend to listen to my books at like 2.5 speed, sometimes even three. And this one I'm listening to at 1.5 because I'm just really enjoying the reading journey, if that makes sense. And I don't feel like rushing it ever, guys. I so desperately want to annotate this book so bad. I love the audiobook. I love the narrator. I think they chose a fantastic narrator for this audiobook. However, I want a physical copy in my hand so bad, which is rare because I tend to listen to audiobooks and ebooks way more than physical books. Easier for me because I can listen to audiobooks at work and then I can read ebooks before bed, but I want the physical book and it's nowhere to be found. Literally nowhere. It's on Amazon. It's on back order. It won't ship until a month from now. I checked on Barnes and Noble. It's on back order. I checked on thrift books. I checked Target's website. I put on Instagram that I could not find this damn book online anywhere and everyone was telling me to go check at Costco because everyone's finding books there. I went to Costco yesterday with my dad, no go. I was literally, I'm sure we're not supposed to do this, but there was like boxes of books underneath the table and I was like looking through the boxes, hoping to find just like one copy. I don't even care about the sprayed edges. I don't want it to be a pretty copy. I just want something that I can highlight and annotate. I went on Target's website and I found one that was in stock, just one, and I went to go do a Target pickup order. And as I'm literally checking out, gone sold out so i was like oh my god this is not this is not gonna happen i'm not gonna get this physical copy but i just kept checking target's website to see if maybe there was a store that i could do a target pickup and i found one but it's like two hours away okay i know this is a long story and you guys are like damn sam is it really that serious yes i want this physical copy so fucking bad that actually works like an hour away from where we live and the target that i found is kind of in his commute like it i think he passes it so i put it i put a target pickup order and my dad's gonna get it for us and i'm crossing my fingers that we're able to get this copy i'm literally out here like i don't have to be at work in five minutes the coffee shop and i i'm trying a new drink this is a mocha coconut cream cold brew i don't know i've never tried it let's go to work i guess i really don't want to go to work right now my dad just messaged me my dad just called me right now he didn't message me he called me he facetimed me with the book in his hands i'm so excited it is not the spread edge version okay i'm i've come to the fact that that version is not meant to be with me i'm not supposed to live with that beautiful version but i'm okay my dad filmed a little bit in the car when he got the book i meant to film when he was facetiming me but i was just so fucking excited so i'll put his clip i think he filmed it kind of like selfie version so the clip might be a little weird but uh yeah i i'll put it in here greetings and salutation friends my daughter has me on another mission today 
finding a book that she needed and have and must have today. So I had to drive an hour earlier than I normally do to work to rush to a target that she says had it in stock. Well, fans, I'm happy to report that we came through. We have the book. Hopefully she gets it. She's going to read it, blog about it, enjoy it. I told her I might start it because I'm working the night shift these days. I have nothing else to do tonight, so I'm going to start it. And I told her if I start it and I like it, I'm not giving it to you. So she's excited to get it back, but she might not get it till after my week of work when I'm done with it. But we'll see and we'll keep you posted. Love you guys. He can read it. That's fine. But he better give it back to me. I'm just saying more perfect my annotating supplies came in so i have my highlighters to annotate these are bible highlighters meant for like really thin paper so hopefully they don't bleed through the paper i'll do so you know what i'll probably do a test run and then i also got just a little packet of tabs i had a bunch of tabs but they were pastel colors and the vibe of the book is like black and yellow so i'm like i don't want to use pastels so i got this pack because it had some darker colors let me try out these highlighters i'm gonna try it out on like a mass market paperback because those um pages are really thin i went over something i went over that like three times so we will see if it bleeds a little bit it does a little bit if i do it just one swipe it won't bleed okay good to know we're gonna have to like test this before we actually start annotating the book i'm so excited okay all right i'm gonna go and listen to the audiobook and take a bubble bath i had a long day i had a little cry at work today because it was so fucking stressful today but i'm okay i'm excited now it looks crazy i just got out of the bubble bath and i'm feeling very cozy and what's more cozy than listening to my audiobook wow I play my Nintendo. I just downloaded two new games. I downloaded Spirit Fairer and Beacon Pines. Those are two cozy games I've been wanting to play for a while. So I think I'm going to play maybe each one for like 30 minutes while I listen to my audiobook and just have a fun cozy night. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm loving, 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 loving this book. I honestly, I understand like people are very interested in like the fantasy and the world building. But for me, and the dragons, of course, the dragons. But for me, I am a character-driven person. I'm not really a plot-driven person. And I fucking love our heroine. I think she's so strong. I think she's so kind, so smart. I just, I love her so much. And hands down, one of my favorite heroines. I am just enjoying reading her. I love seeing her growth, like just her confidence in herself. I love how she is adapting to her surroundings, but she is not losing her morality or losing her character. She's still so smart. She's still so kind. She's such a good friend. And I just, I fucking love her. I 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 hope that does not change, but Gosh, what an amazing heroine we have to read about. Okay, I look crazy. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Read a little bit today at work, but I was literally so distracted because I was so invested. And there were parts where I was like screaming mentally because I'm like sitting at my job. But like, yeah, I had to pause it because I was getting way too invested. So I'm gonna listen to some of it right now while I play my Nintendo. And I just, guys, when I, I'm putting on my skincare right now. When I tell you I'm loving this book, I'm fucking loving it. Like, my dad is reading it, like I said. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to call him right now so he can tell you his thoughts. Because um, we were talking about it earlier and I forgot to film. So, let me call him and he can tell you what he thinks, too. See if he answers. He's going to answer. My dad always answers my calls. Hi, Father. Hi. Can you talk? Yes. I'm filming my update on where I am on the books, and I wanted you to tell them your thoughts, concerns, predictions. I don't know if that's safe. It's like my phone, my phone sideways right now. No, that's actually perfect. All right, tell the people what you think. You're screen Am I? Yes, I'm screen recording. I am Screamer Queen. Okay, got it. Go ahead. So I'm going to be at the part where they just started the uh, Tom Lake, the first time we're going through. And, you know, I'm very interested in some of the, the direction that they're going, but I have some speculations of it. Um, I have two predictions of what dragon might pick her. 
I think that really mean, scary black one that they were talking about that hasn't ever wanted to connect with anyone. I think that might be the one she connects with. And then the other one is taking that blue one that's like always staring at her and glaring at her. I think it belongs to Zane. So those are my two predictions with that. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you know what's funny is when I was at the part of the book that you're at, I said the same thing. We had the same prediction. I'm not going to tell you, but we had the exact same prediction, literally. So the, the author has given me things to look forward to in the story. Okay. Uh, I'm very much the guy that reads a book, and if within the first couple of chapters I'm not captivated, I'll put it down. And it's always been the case for me. Mm -hmm. And in the first, I think I'm seven or eight chapters in, and... I have things to look forward to and intrigue in what's going to happen in the story. I want to know, you know, what's going on with that relationship, which one of the two she's going to either hook up with, or she'll probably end up hooking up with both and then decide which one she's going to be with later, who knows. I'm curious to know what dragon is going to pick her and how what, you know, what her secret is going to be that she's going to get going on that I'm curious and interested in. So right now it's a three, and I love the fact that it's intriguing so much that it's given me those things to look forward to so i'm you know so i'm gonna continue reading because i want to fill in the holes all right that's a good update dad okay drive safe to work i love you love you too love you. bye guys he's like into it <laughs> I love it. Um, maybe I'll bring him at the end update and this reading vlog has kind of transformed into me and my dad reading this book. Um, it's so funny because a lot of his predictions and a lot of his thoughts are very similar to how, how I felt. Um, I definitely have the same prediction on her dragon. I disagree with him for the heroes. Honestly, honestly, I wanted both of them. I didn't want her to, I, I want both of them. I'm loving it. He's loving it. I definitely agree that the author is doing such a good job at doing the world building where it's interesting but not complicated. There's so many questions that are keeping me interested in the story, but I don't feel like the author is lacking in details. It's a natural progression, and it makes sense as to why this book is so long, because it's so needed and necessary. Everything feels so purposeful. Everything feels so purposeful. It doesn't feel like fluff. I love you guys. I will give you more updates later. We're done. We finished it, and I actually have the physical book in my hands. It's throwing off my lighting. Rebecca Yaros had no business making a book this fucking good okay she ate down rent was due her bills needed to be paid like this is very popular i definitely always feel like it's popular for a reason there's a reason that people are loving it there's a reason people are vibing with it i'm never the i'm never the type of person to hate on a book because it's popular and you know what there was this i'm getting on a tangent now i will tell you my thoughts on the book in a second there was I post this on TikTok where someone, I think they were even holding up this book and they were basically saying like, just because you didn't like this book doesn't mean it's overrated. So I always try not to say books are overrated and stuff like that. But when a book is so hyped up, you do almost get a little skeptical. Like, is it that good? And I was pleasantly surprised. Like I was very, very impressed with this book. Five out of fucking five stars, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I understand why the girlies are selling out all the stores. I understand why everyone's making fan art. I, un I understand. I feel like I'm part of like a really cool club because I get it. I get it. Shout out to Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers who basically had to deal with me the entire time I was reading this book. I was texting her my thoughts. I was sending her voice memos. I was just very emotionally invested into this book and she went with me on all that journey. And then shout out to my dad who finished the book. Actually, he just finished today. We the little blurb right here says the most brutal addictive fantasy I've read in a decade. And you know what? That's such a good way to explain this. This book hit all of the boxes. It was intriguing. The romance, although slow burn, was definitely there. It was there, okay? I was so invested in the romance. The world building was so unique and intentional. A lot of times when it comes to fantasy books, I mentioned this before, I tend to just get lost in the source, okay? I get confused with all the different names and kingdoms and magic and all this stuff, but I felt like the author, Rebecca Yaros, did such an amazing job at describing it to us. Everything that was in this book, although it was a 21-hour audiobook, will I ever shut up about that? Um... Although it was long, I feel like everything was intentional. You know, this is only 500 pages. I've read longer books. I don't know why I'm harping on the length. It's intentional. Every little thing that she mentioned that maybe you didn't realize was important was important. Okay, she tied everything in beautifully. The ending? I'm not going to do any spoilers, but the ending? I kind of... 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Guys, it's great. It's so great. I did a good job explaining the plot of this book because so many of you have read it. But let's see romance that takes place in this world, Basgaeth. Our heroine is forced to become a writer, which is a very dangerous profession. She has to bond with a dragon. And the dragon's like main goal is to protect the kingdom and the magic within it. Bonding with dragons allows them their own type of magic and she's there. There's a little bit of a love triangle romance plot side characters intrigue The writing style just everything worked for me and I'm so impressed I know people are loving it and I know this is not anything new but like It's been a while since I've been this excited to like read a book Thankfully, although this is very hyped up, I did not have any spoilers and I just enjoyed it from beginning to end. It was a whole, a whole experience and I felt like this gave me like those butterflies in my stomach. Like I, like, it, it almost felt like nostalgic. I'm like cradling this book like a baby. Um, it almost felt nostalgic. Like it gave me those vibes of like when I was in high school and I was reading Divergent and Hunger Games and Twilight. And although this book is not similar to those books by plot, it gave this excitement and it felt like it is doing something new for the genre. Like I feel like this book is going to start a trend within the fantasy genre. It's going to set the standards. I would love, oh my god. I know this just came out, but could you imagine this as a movie or a TV show? The author mentioned on TikTok that this is going to be about five books in a series, and I'm here for it. I want all the dragons. The dragons, they were so badass and funny also. Like, I love. Okay, let me get my dad in here. My dad here. So you guys know my thoughts. I give it a five out of five stars. I loved it. It was an experience. Dad, one out of five stars. Five being the best, one being the worst. What is your rating of this book? Four. That's a solid rating. I Is that the highest out of all the books we've read together? Yes, for me it has been, yeah. So we've read a total, I think, three books together. We read a romance, wait, what are they called? We read a romantic suspense, we read a cozy mystery, and we read a thriller together. Okay. And now we read a fantasy. So I'll leave those videos down below of the books that we've read together. Um, so this, is, this one was your favorite! And an unexpected one too because guys you he was not supposed to read this with me i was going to read it for myself and i sent him to get this book and he never gave it back until he finished it well she sent me on my way to work because she scoured all of our region looking for this book and said this one's on your way to work but you have to leave an hour earlier to get it so then i picked it up and i was like well i'm I work the night shift and it's very slow where i'm at so i'm like i'm gonna start it and if i like it you're not getting it back and that's what happened. And that's what happened. And, okay, so what was your favorite, um, not, what was your favorite part? Like, what is something that you liked about the book? I like how the author intrigues you with events and possibilities in the book. She starts off giving you bits and pieces of everything, but then gives you questions that immediately make you want to continue reading the book. There's, you know, they give you a character flaw or a history or a connection and you're like, there's more there and very enticing ones that it just grabs you and it grabs your attention to want to continue reading. So you were like intrigued with like the world building and the plot? Yes. How did yes. you feel about the romance? Honestly, he was into the romance because there was times where he was like, it's 50% and they haven't even kissed yet. And I was like, yeah, it is a romance, but it's slow burn. Yeah, it was, it was... You said, oh, this is a romance. Be careful. There's a romance. I'm just well, letting you know. I'm just letting know. you know because you don't read romance. I've, yeah, so I've never read one and it was, you were telling me, just, I'm just letting you know, dad. So I read about 50% of it and I was like, the tension is so high, but they're not even, they didn't even, haven't even brushed each other on the hallway. Like <laughs> Until they did. Until, until they did, yes. Yeah, it was like the 50% mark. It was right after that, yeah. Yeah, so it was slow burn, but the romance does definitely pick up. But I think in comparison to, like, other romances I've read, it definitely wasn't crazy, steamy, spicy. Yes, it was. Okay, well, so. this was your first romance, so. Right. So you liked it! I did like it. I'm intrigued at what next, uh, the, the twist at the end really got me now scurrying to pre-order the next one. Yeah. So yes, because now there's a lot more questions to be had. There was a big cliffhanger. It at was the end, a good but... one. So <laughs> and I was, I saw, I came home and he was on the last chapter, and I was literally just like stared at him until he got to the last page. Yes. <laughs> I was just like, 
Because it me. doesn't come to the very last page, and then she looks at me. I look up, and I'm like, what? So, yes, it was a very good... I thought it was a different type of um, spoiler. I was expecting some something else, but this was very good. It really got me, because now it's going to be like, wait, 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 wait. There's a lot of questions to be had. To be answered, so. yeah. So that's why I'm thinking, like, this book is so good because I, I'm, I'm a romance reader, but I don't read fantasy, and I loved it. My dad doesn't read romance at all. He reads mystery thrillers, and he liked it. So I feel like this will appeal to so many people, and it, it yes. has because it's yeah. everywhere. This yeah. is not new. The all right. So five stars, four stars. We liked it. Let me know what my dad should read next, even though this was an impromptu video. Yes. And... As always, thank you guys for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me. I hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy, and I will see you in my next video.